in this video we're going to cover lighting setups and those setups that I used in Sharkman. Now the look I wanted was a dark edgy look which matched the story I was telling and um, I'm going to show you how I did it with minimal lights at my disposal. So I only used two lights for this. Now in lighting there's really four steps you've got to follow which is a key light, a backlight, have a bit of ambience that fills the scene and gives it a mood and also a fill light. Now fill light isn't necessary, I actually didn't use a fill light in this but I'll explain why and show you. Now the situation for this setup was it's a hideout location which was detailed in the script which was actually a workshop location in physical uh, land but there was five actors sitting around a poker table and one camera set up. Burn and turn. Now the resources I had available were two lights, one was a 500 watt, the other was an 800 watt. They both had scrims and diffusion. Now I, uh, I switched between the diffusion on the lights uh, to determine what kind of look I wanted and I'll go into that more. Now the location itself, it had two permanents or two practical lights in it that couldn't actually be turned off and that created a nice little ambience actually which I used and uh, shaped around the actors and it was a white light as well. Now this is a shot I'm going to be using to explain how I lit the scene. Now as you can see this is some temp colour graded footage followed by the raw footage here. So I'm going to use the temp colour graded footage uh, just to add some depth so you can see the shadows more clearly. Now this is Ray Sinclair, he plays Thrasher, so uh, Ray's a champion bloke by the way, so uh, always good fun. Now to create this hard edge look that I've been talking about I used the two lights from before and I set them up at distinct angles, one is a key light and one is a back light. And I used those to achieve very distinct shadows on the actors themselves. So here you can see Ray sitting and I've got a, uh, a hard key light on the right hand side shining on him. It doesn't wrap around his face because of the angle so it creates that nice dark shadow on the left hand side of his face and the back light creates that halo effect on the top of his hair. Now this is the situation itself where there's five actors sitting around a poker table and Ray sitting down the bottom of the poker table uh, as you saw before in the footage. Now as you can see that's where I had the camera set up to get that and achieve that shot and now I'm going to show you how I set up the lights around the shot that I wanted. Now as you can see here, this is where I've got the 180 degree line, or the eye line uh, as it's called, which is just a basic eye line in filmmaking, and it just shows so you can have a left-right relationship with where the characters are looking, and it's just an imaginary axis where the camera knows where to be put, so if I was going to shoot a reverse angle shot from over Ray's shoulder, then that's where it would be set up with camera set up 2, but as you saw the footage before, that was from camera set up 1. Now this is a diagram of the lighting setup I used to achieve that shot of Ray. Now as you can see I've got the key light on the left hand side, now this was a hard key light just over 90 degrees because I didn't want to fill the whole of his face with light because I wanted that dark edgy shadow to make him look pretty much a bit bad and sinister. Now just to tell that story more effectively, now as you can see the key light, it doesn't wrap around his face, it only gets that hard light so the pretty much the light stops at the nose. And then I've got the backlight itself where um, it achieves that sort of halo effect but more importantly it separates the character from the location so I'll, I light the actor not the location itself now I could have used a fill light as I said earlier and that would have filled in the other shadow on the other side of his face and that's what the fill light does hence the name but I didn't want that because I did want to have that drastic shadow so I got rid of the fill light now this is the shot of Ray and uh, as you can see on the right hand side of his face is that hard crisp light created by the key light and on the left hand side there you can see where the shadow is being created because the light doesn't actually wrap around the whole of his face seen here. Now the back light creates that little halo effect and lights the back of his shoulders and it, it separates him from the physical location which is what I wanted because otherwise he would have just kind of disappeared into the background. As you can see in the diagram here, the backlight, it lights up around the back of his shoulders and up along the top of his head. And what that does, if you compare the back of him to those red cupboards behind him, it separates him from the background. And that lights the actor itself and creates more kind of a three-dimensional space, which is what you want to achieve by the lighting. You want to create uh, more depth and play with the shadows. You want to paint the picture with light. Now if I was to light another actor with the same lighting setup that I used for Ray, so if I was going to light Kane Serrata who plays Bull, then I'd have the camera at the opposite end of the table from him, I have the key light on his left hand side and the back light directly behind him there. So the key light nearly at 90 degrees is going to create that hard crisp light on his face with the shadows on the opposite side and the back light creating that halo effect and separating him from the background. So as you can see here, that's where the, uh, the hard light is on the right hand side of his face and the shadows on the opposite side. Well the backlight separates him from the background so as you can see those cages have a lot more depth to them as he does himself so that's what the backlight is. And also helps avoid that kind of flatness you'd get if there weren't so many lights on the actor. Now as you can see this is a diagram breaking down once again the key light on the left hand side and the backlight. So that's just a two point lighting system I use 
and as you can see you can have a three point lighting if you want or you can move it around to achieve whatever look you want. So stay tuned for some more videos where I'm going to show you how I shot at the nightclub and got lots of extras and also did the lighting at a resort where you've got direct sunlight beaming on the actors. But uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching. Cheers.